Hey everybody, it's Devin. Welcome to part three of the three video series that I just created for clearing blocks. The first video, we talked about using your physical body to try to identify where the block might be, especially if it's a subconscious one. Sometimes we don't always understand our emotions or realize an emotion is there just below the surface level. And so we can use our physical body to identify it. So check that video out. I have a chart on my website, devindoer.com under free stuff that can help you identify that as well. And then in the second video, I give five questions to ask to help you identify the block. And then I, teach, I talk about using some affirmations and visualizations to help with clearing that. So check that out as well. And then this is the third video where I talk about um, where we're gonna do some tapping, just a light round of tapping, emotional freedom technique, EFT. Uh, there are so many certified tapping practitioners out there that can help you customize this and lead you through this. So I encourage you to do that if you feel like you're really blocked or you want a custom led piece for you because I do encourage you to do that. I learned EFT when I was doing my animal communication training with Seawall University and I have absolutely loved it. I use it for everything. Of course, it's so helpful with the animals and with their humans, but it also has helped for me in many areas of my life. So I'm so excited to share this with you today because I've been wanting to do it for a while and let me know in the comments below if it's helpful to you or if you'd like to see more of this because I do enjoy doing it. But this one's just a general overall um, light round of tapping to clear blocks. It's pretty you know, general to cover whatever it is for you. So um, keep in mind that you can always, um, like I said, get with a practitioner or you can type in for a specific thing that you're wanting to work on. There's you know, EFT for anxiety, EFT for confidence, things like that. So I do those videos all the time when I need just a little quick tapping round. I also work with a practitioner. I do really enjoy having the custom lead rounds. So I encourage you to look into it if it appeals to you. But for today, we're just gonna do this light round of tapping on our blocks. So the intention we have is to clear any blocks we are having right now. So we're gonna start off by tapping on the side of our hand, the karate chop thing, where we tap right here, where we set, we set some intentions. And then we're gonna to move to the tapping points. I'll quickly show you the tapping points I use, but don't worry, you're just gonna follow me. So it's inside the eye, outside the eye, under the eye, under the nose, the chin, the collarbone, the arm, under the arm, and top of the head is what I use, okay? So just follow along and if you miss a spot or you, you just keep going, you know, sometimes I get into it and I skip a spot, but we're just gonna keep tapping through the round. So just follow along. I'm gonna say something and then I'm gonna pause and wait for you to say it, but keep tapping the whole time, okay? So getting started, here we go. We are gonna be clearing our blocks with this session. Even though I keep blocking myself from making progress with my dreams. I fully and completely love, honor, and respect myself. Even though I sometimes get stuck in self-destructive thought patterns and sometimes engage in self-defeating activities, I completely honor and respect my decisions. Even though I sometimes feel I am never going to accomplish my dreams, I fully and completely love, honor, and respect myself. Okay, now we're gonna begin moving through the tapping points, so just follow along, starting with inside the eye. I know I'm blocking myself. I can feel it. I don't know why I keep doing it, but I do. And it's really frustrating. Sometimes I just feel so defeated because being frustrated is exhausting. And feeling exhausted is no fun. So then I start to think that going for my dreams is no fun. But then that makes me angry. I mean, why shouldn't I be able to go for my dreams? 
And so I think, forget that, I'm going for it. And then here comes the fear. Fear that I'm not good enough. Fear that I'm not truly ready. Fear of judgment from others. And so then I just start to feel defeated again and frustrated and exhausted and angry. I don't wanna feel that way anymore. So I'm gonna change this pattern. This pattern causes me to block myself. I'm gonna allow myself to mess up sometimes. After all, nobody's perfect. But instead of feeling frustrated, I'm gonna feel compassion. Compassion for myself, compassion for my journey, and for whatever mistakes I may have made in the past or might make in the future. Because deep down, I know the only way to de defeat fear is through showing myself love. And deep down, I know I love myself. I really love myself. I love myself. I love myself. I forgive myself for blocking myself. I forgive myself for blocking myself. I am clearing these blocks. I choose to clear these blocks. I am now clearing these blocks. I am now allowing an open pathway to achieve my dreams because I am worthy of self-love. I am worthy of success. I am worthy of my dreams. I am clear of these blocks. I am clear. I am clear. I love myself. I am deserving. I am succeeding. And I am achieving all my dreams. Now take a deep breath. Now just take a minute and notice how you feel. Are you feeling any differently than you did when we first started this tapping session? Feel free to watch this over and over again and do it several times. I will often do it several days in a row. Uh, maybe not always on the same topic. I do it if I feel like I'm getting sick. I do it if I'm feeling nervous. There are so many ways it's helpful to me. Um, and of course, with my physical health, I do it as well. So I hope that was helpful for you. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you'd like to do more tapping rounds with me on other things. Um, I hope these three videos were really helpful to you. Feel free to go back and and watch them and let me know if you have more questions on them because I do love creating this content for you. I'd like to know if it's helpful. Um, many of you have said you do enjoy the intuitive guidance I do, so I hope to be able to continue to offer that as well. As I mentioned, I'm uh, still working hard on my book to get the editing process complete. And so I wanna make sure that when I do have time to make these videos for you, that it's really helpful. So thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing my, to my channel. Please share my videos and let me know if you have any questions or comments, right? So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.